Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. If you are looking for photo editing tutorials and WhatsApp status videos here it is the right platform. So subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you are visiting this channel for the first time do subscribe the channel. Today we are going to create 60 fps smooth WhatsApp status video. By using Adobe After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now open After Effects. Click on New Composition. I'm giving composition name as WhatsApp Status Video. Change width value to 818 and height value to 1818. Set the frame rate to 60 frames per second and duration to 30 seconds. And then click on OK. Now double click on project panel and select a video. And click import. Now drag the video footage onto the timeline. Press R letter on keyboard. And set rotation value to 90. Trim the video from the point where you want. By clicking Alt plus left bracket on your keyboard. And drag it to the starting of the timeline. Now enable the frame blend switch set. And enable the frame blending option by clicking toggle switch. And double click here. Now save the file wherever you want. I'm saving here and giving the file name as WhatsApp After Effects. By using After Effects software, we have to use Adobe Media Encoder to render the output. Here is the important thing we have to do. Now open Adobe Media Encoder. Drag the project file onto the media encoder. And select the main composition and click OK. Now click on preset. Change the preset to custom and keep the video format to H.246. Enable render at maximum bit depth and change the bitrate encoding to VBR2 pass. Set the target bitrate to 3.5 and maximum bitrate to 4. Enable the use maximum render quality and change time interpolation to frame blending and then click on OK. Click here to start rendering.
Farni Now using Premiere Pro we are going to create WhatsApp status. Open Premiere Pro and click on New Project. I am giving project name as WhatsApp status and click on OK. Now double click on project panel and import our video footage. Go to file menu, new, sequence, In that select AVC HD 1080p60. Now go to settings and change editing mode to custom. Keep frame rate as same. And change the frame size as shown. Enable the maximum bit depth and maximum render quality and then click OK. Now drag footage file onto the timeline. and change rotation value to 90 degrees. Trim the footage which is required. Split the footage by using shortcut controller command plus K. Drag the time indicator for 28 seconds and click OR on keyboard, because it helps to render only that 28 seconds. Now right click on video footage and go to time interpolation, in that select optical flow. We are done with basic part. To render this video footage go to file menu and click on export and choose media. Now do the same process that we did at the media encoder.
this is the output for you you for me Hope this video is useful to you. Please subscribe to our channel and leave a like and comment and share.